Hey guys, what's up? So I had a 35 minute video called Ranting and then at the end of it Shannon gives a really good uh, talk. So I had, my phone had an error that it couldn't upload so I'm doing it this way. I'm putting it together in Final Cut Pro and I just wanted to explain why I had to do it that way because it's stupid. It's just ridiculous and yeah that's Dragnaut. I'm a Dragoon. So is she. So that's the way that goes. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the ranting video from me. And then Shannon is very focused and she gives some knowledge that's very good for people that are going through bad shit, you know? So it was a very productive vlog video, wouldn't you say so, honey? Yes, you smell good. You do too. You smell like coconuts. She smells like coconut, folks! <laughs> It's insane. So God bless you. I love you. I just wanted to explain that. Peace out. This video is going to straight up be called ranting. Because I can't handle it anymore, folks. I am done with the world. I can no longer deal with these people that think that they are gods. And little G gods on the planet. And they think that they can absolutely dictate my life and tell me if I'm drinking or not. Yup. Folks! <laughs> there is an answer to your problems. It's called getting a life, folks. Oh my God. See, I'm out in the car. I'm driving with my wife. Look at how gorgeous she looks. She's a gothic princess, but no, more than that, you're a rave girl. Hey, you're a fucking rave girl. I have a rave girl wife. I married a rave girl, folks. Can you believe it? Now look at this comment. Mirin Rashid said this. She fucking said, I wish you nothing but happiness. I wish you nothing but happiness, folks. What? Why can't you be more like that? Hey. Russian Hashid. It's a Muslim, but I don't think she's a Muslim. She's probably in it. <laughs> we should get him some water. It, it's probably a, 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 an Arab believer in Jesus, folks. Can you praise him? Can you praise him? Oh my God, I want to hug this man. This man, say, on many occasions, he was such a blessing to my wife because she was so depressed, folks. She, could, <laughs> she didn't know what to do. Gil, just shout out. Bye. Love my, you. My brother. Oh, my God. We have to take him for dinner. We do. We're going to take him out for dinner sometimes. For, sometime. <laughs> it's going to be a big <laughs> oh my god. We'll give him an interview. Where the spirit of the Lord there is freedom. Oh my god. <laughs> See, we can't do it right now, folks, because we got things to do. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're in Colorado, folks. This is... <laughs> you were so happy. Yep. You have to understand something, Shannon. And I'll just... I'll just... There's Agent of Doubt. Ramble. Quit trying to reach out and touch someone. You have to understand something, folks, okay? In the year... Of our Lord 2018 AD, Jason William Egroff was almost dead because of alcohol. I don't think I ever told you this, but I had a night when I was on the couch that I drank so much that I almost literally, almost my heart stopped pumping. My ring finger blew up three times its normal size and I think I had a heart attack. You have 
start your hands up, folks. This woman came into my life when I was almost dead. And my family is pretty much all dead. Do you understand? They're all pretty much gone. I have an uncle that I love dearly. Uh, my uncle Tom. I have aunts that I love dearly. I have my uncle John. I have, I have very, very few people in my life anymore. Because they're all dead, folks. Okay? They're all dead. My mom is dead. My dad is dead. Everybody in my life is dead. But this woman came into my life. And she changed my life. From here on out, folks, she is shaping my person, my being. No. Yeah, and she is the most wonderful thing to ever live. You're going to get vlogs like this from me a lot. Because I am free. I'm sitting there yelling like a madman because I'm happy. But I had to come on here and rant about people that can't mind their own business, folks. <laughs> you got me. I can't do it anymore. You people say I'm drinking and I'm not. I'm sober. I'm not high. I'm not drinking. I have coffee and cigarettes, folks. He's happy. <laughs> and sometimes I get Red Bull. I'm a big fan of Red Bull. But he's happy. Exactly. I'm not high, folks. <laughs> okay. I'm not drinking. I'm not drugging. I'm a good little boy, folks. It's called being <laughs> fucking happy. Do you know what fucking happy is? No, you don't. Why don't you do this? Oh, our messy fucking car, dude. Oh. No. This is what happens when you have children. Yeah. Don't clean up after themselves. What? How does that work? There you go. Oh, okay. Oh my god! Will you be a little more gentle with it? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Don't you pay attention to that. Because I want you to drive. You listen to what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my god, folks. I can't put it well, in. Well, why don't you just hold it? There we go. I had to take the, the, the that thing off of it, folks. There we go. Of course, it cuts you out. There we ah. go. All right. Because I did landscape before, folks, and it totally messed up the video. I think the YouTube camera does that, right? I, I don't know. It switches it? Maybe. I think it does. If it doesn't, fuck it. I don't care. I don't either. You're getting the audio. Because that's what matter fo That's what matters, folks, is the audio. I'm giving you my fucking feelings. He's telling you how he feels. This stupid horse shit of saying I'm drunk needs to stop. Do you realize the 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 uh, the pressure, the absolute crushing pressure that it can be at times, folks, to be an alcoholic? And you're saying I'm drinking. I want you to stop it. Now you're gonna harass me on my wife's channel when we're doing a fucking live stream playing video games, folks. It's enough. Is enough. Why, why is us being happy equivalent to being drunk or high? Because we're so fucking lame and shit in real life that it's impossible that I could enjoy your company or you could enjoy my company. We enjoy each other's company all the time. Yeah, and there's intimacy, folks. You have no idea. 
Oh my god, intimacy in a marriage? Get out. Just get out. I want to know where I want to know where it comes from, folks. Where where does this all originate? That you have to say that people are fucking using substances when they're not. You want to fucking see the road, you stupid fucks? Go. All right, fine. Oh, there's the road. You can get a fucking view of the road instead of my face. How about that? Or the mountains. The beautiful mountains of Colorado. There you go. Yeah, man. You can, like, show it all around, babe. That's awesome. I uh, This stand that you have in the truck is incredible, actually. Thank you. Mm-hmm. But I've just about had it. With the absolute slime ball horse shit of calling me a drunk. I am a drunk. I always will be. But but for you to shove it in my face every day that I'm drinking when I'm not is absolute fucking horse shit. He's sober. Leave him alone. Stop being fucking assholes. I, 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 I really love Sabella. I've grown to have a great love with Sabella Shepard. Oh my. Because she is defending me like a fucking paladin. That is true. She's right at the gates, Shannon. To be there to take the first shot. You could be a cameraman and switch it back if you want to. To, to our lovely faces. Well, why don't you do it? I'm the one driving. All right, baby. So there you go. You're back to us again. You don't want to even see us, do you? No, they don't want to see us together. They were like, "Oh, they're they're not gonna get to get back together. It's gonna be awful. Shannon's gonna go to jail for this dawn." Blah blah blah. Well, I didn't. Just by some weird fucking co some weird chance that you're not subscribed to my wife. I want you to go to Shanny for Christ on YouTube and subscribe and hit the bell twice, okay? There was a guy in there by the name of Wise Guy, and he said, it's fucking hilarious how people want to break you two and they can't. <laughs> That's about the wisest comment I've ever seen, actually, because it's so fucking accurate. You people want Discord. There's a fucking place called Discord now. Are you fucking kidding me? They want us in Discord so they can keep up with the drama and I'm not I'm not taking the bait. No, I'm not either. I'm like, screw that shit. But but there's other there's other circumstances here. Where the case is that substances cannot be in our lives, folks. Do you understand that? I don't think they care. No. I'm giving you the lowdown on what's actually happening, folks. Whatever, we're having a good life. They're not. They're, they're at home bitching about people they don't even know over the internet. That's what they're doing. But if you are, are parlaying the fucking accusation that we're high or drunk, there are consequences to that, folks. <laughs> I am as serious as a fucking heart attack right now. Do you understand me? Stay out of our lives. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to keep that rolling. We're going to get a good video. Could you take that? Have some cigarette and talk to the folks. I don't want to talk to anyone. Well, just, uh, you're done. You can't. Or do you want me to? Yeah, I'd like you to. I want to keep this rolling. It's a vlog. All right? How long do you think this is going to be? Five minutes. I'm dropping it off. They have to fix it. But five minutes of talking Not, you to know, your you audience? You don't have to. Whatever you want to say, you're my wife. I don't know what to say to them. They love Shani for Christ. Do you love Shanny for Christ? Because I've seen the statements of, oh, you need to lose Shannon. You need to lose Shannon. What was it? It's like sister in Christ or something. 
you need to lose Shannon. Shannon's not good for you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Nice. It really was really nice that you said those statements and I couldn't even defend myself. Like, I love that man. Do you know how much fucking shit I had to take to help get him better? Like, I was dealing with a full-blown alcoholic. Do you know how dangerous of people they are? Full-blown alcoholics, fully in the bottle, not willing to get out of the bottle. Do you know how that is? And I stood in, stayed into that relationship knowing that it's toxic at that point because I knew I had to get him off the alcohol because I loved and cared about him so much. So I had to deal with the mood swings, the ups and downs, the outbursts he had. And they were really bad moments, really scary bad moments that I had with him. But I knew what I was dealing with. I knew that I wasn't dealing with the Rev Revelation News, the Jason I love. I was dealing with the spirit of alcohol, the spirit of liquor. There is this like one night where I poured a whole bottle of anointing oil on him because he got so drunk. He literally thought he was Lucifer and kept saying he's Lucifer and I'm the bride of Satan. I'm like, hell no, I'm not. That wasn't Rev talking. That was alcohol, full blown alcohol. And I knew that because I'm from a family of alcoholics. Um, you know, my mom's uh, ex-husband was a raging alcoholic. And I learned a lot how to deal with alcoholics through him. You know, alcoholics... When they're drinking alcohol, they're the most horrible people and you don't want to be around them. But in order to get them off alcohol, you have to endure it. And show them what they do when they're drinking and how bad their situation can be. You know, you have to be there for them. You have to love them regardless of their alcohol. Just like any other person who has a mental disease you know you have to be there for them you can't just get walk away and give up on them how 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 are they ever going to want to get out of their situation if you're just going to depress them further by you know walking away from them it's not a good thing it's not a good thing it's certainly not a christian thing to do but there's certainly so many christians that give up on their partner, children, family members because of alcohol. And I get it. You don't want to deal with the bullshit. That, but the thing is, is they're struggling. And you're giving up on someone that's struggling. You're giving up on someone that really legitly needs someone in their life to understand them. What they're going through. And frankly, that makes you a very cowardice person. If you give up on someone who's struggling. A coward, um, cold, apathetic, disgusting person. You know, because all you're doing is caring about yourself. You're not caring about the person that's struggling. You're caring only about yourself. Like, why? Why would you do that and go look badly on someone who's sh legitly struggling? Like, I struggle. I struggle all my life. And I've, I've been given up so many times and put away and abandoned 
because I struggle. You know, I never was cared enough for for someone to be in my life and that it's a very awful experience to have when people who should be in your life aren't in your life because you're going through something and they don't want they don't want to be a part of whatever something you're going through they just want to give up on you because their life is more important than yours right they don't look at you as an equal they look at you as beneath them and that's what a lot of people do with alcoholics and that's why they continue to drink because no one looks at them higher they always look at them lowly and it's it's shitty of you to look at an alcoholic lowly when you, you need to realize that alcoholics are alcoholics because they've probably gone through way too much shit and they don't know how to handle it they don't know how to cope you know and they need they need someone in their life so they can cope you can't cope if you're all by yourself you need someone there to hold your hand to be there you know people can't be left to their to their own they need others we're social animals which means we need to be social because if we're not social we're not healthy But I don't know if any of you guys will actually understand what I'm saying and be empathetic toward the area because you have your own problems you're dealing with. I don't know. Most people nowadays, I've, I've noticed, they just don't care. It's all about them. Selfish, horrible people. And I'm just, I'm tired of living in a world like that where people are just selfish and greedy and they just want to just use you for what you have and not who you are they don't value who you are anymore instead they value what you have and it's shitty it's shitty of them ugh I hope my husband comes out soon. Like I said, I've been I've been saying I have a migraine, so I'm not feeling too particularly well having this migraine in my head. You know what it could be? I need caffeine. I've gone two days without soda I think I'm gonna go and get myself a soda cuz I need it now the question is should I go to Taco Bell and get a Baja Blast or should I get a Dr. Pepper that is the real need here is I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm trying and I'm having a hard time because I'm hurting in my head. Husband, where are you? just taken off Ugh. but it's like people over the internet they just want to hit you with like what they assume is your weakness or what they assume is bothering you they look at your struggle right they take your struggle and they try to use it against you and make fun of you for it and put you down for it and say that you're doing stuff that you're not just fucking stupid like I don't even like alcohol I remember I'm never touching that crap again because I've seen 
what that crab can do to a human being and how it completely changes them as a person. And I don't want to see it again. I certainly don't want to see it with me. <sighs> I'm beginning to like what I'm becoming. You know, and I'm I'm trying to self-improve in life. I'm not trying anything devious or anything like that. Hell no. I'm trying to improve my life. And you can tell the drinkers from the non-drinkers. You can tell the potheads from the non-potheads just by looking at them. Like, drinkers, they, they, they have a dirtiness to them. They look dirty. A lot of drinkers. You know. And they always have, like, this, like, jaunt look in their eyes, you know. Fuck your kid. <sighs> I'm better off doing what I'm doing right now in life. Come on, Jason. I miss my hubby. I don't like being apart from him at all. It gets me paranoid. Because <sighs> I love him so much. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. Oh, and I feel so nauseated today. I'm not feeling good. I don't know. Maybe it's the heat. It's 99 degrees outside. Oh, I'll put the air on high, higher. I think I'm having heat problems. I'm really not feeling good. This is bad. This is really bad. Ugh. Ugh. Here's the video where I'm like silent because I don't really want to talk. And you can be like, Shannon, why don't you want to talk? Because I don't know. I'm depressed. I've been very depressed lately. Very depressed. You know, because I, I really... I look at the world and I see it... It's just... Degraded. So fast, this world. And the morality in this world is just faded so fast. People have no morals anymore. You know, they think it's okay to lie, cheat, steal, as long as you get that dollar. You know, do whatever you want as long as you get the dollar. Because, because for some reason people think money is success and money isn't success. Money is a means to, the, to an end, but it's certainly not success. You know, a successful person has love in their life. You know, they're happy. That's a successful person. Not money. Money's never going to bring you success. You know? And I wish people would, like, separate money from success. Because it's really, it's not going to give you happiness. Money will never bring you happiness. Love will. Money won't. You know, 
think people need to put more emphasis on finding love than trying to get money. Like if the world ran on love, this world would work perfectly. But it doesn't run on love. It runs on money. And it's just cold and calculated and everyone's miserable and using each other because their idea of success is getting the coin. You know? And getting this and getting that and getting this thing. It gets tiring. You know. Day. It really does get tiring. I am tired. I'm very tired, in fact. I'm not going to lie. I'm very tired lately. He came too early. And he won't come out. Because he wants me to talk for something that is not even his appointment yet. like I can text him, this is the phone. minutes has turned into 11 minutes and I have nothing 